So today's video is going to be about my boot camp. I specifically went through Springboard for my UX design boot camp. So I want to talk about the highs, the lows, and kind of my overall thoughts about it. If you see a dog in the back, that is my English bulldog making lots of noise. So bear with me I'm here. I'm start off by saying there are a lot of boot camps, especially now. There are a lot of boot camps. And honestly, I feel like they're all offering very similar things. Like you're gonna have a syllabus, you're gonna have a set amount of time to get through the course, you're gonna have certain deliverables throughout and you're gonna come away with a portfolio. So keeping that in mind, you really wanna then get into the nitty gritty of what is gonna work best for you. One thing I liked about Springboard was that their program seemed very robust to me. It's anywhere from a six to nine month program or longer kind of depending on your pace. So they have four projects total and you learn different things as you're working through the modules, as you're working through the projects, and it seemed just the most robust for me. A bootcamp that was six to nine months was definitely something that was more up my alley versus something that was a little bit shorter, just because I'm coming from a completely different career, so I really wanted to build on that foundation. It is very flexible, so you don't have to be in person at all. It's fully remote, and you're able to really kind of self-pace. So you can do this bootcamp as quick as six months, or nine months is kind of what the projected time is. I think I completed mine in the like eight to nine month period, which really worked out for me because as I mentioned in another video, I was working full time as an interior designer still. So having that flexibility of not having to be in a classroom and kind of going through the modules as quickly or as slowly as I needed was really great. And another reason I went with Springboard was their one-on-one -on -one mentorship. They specifically have mentors that are working in UX design. And so you are meeting with those mentors every single week, going over what you've learned, going over your projects, any questions. So really having somebody who is that industry person, who's that industry expert really set that apart for me. Okay, pros. So I touched on this already, but that one-on-one -on -one mentorship, the, you meet with your mentor weekly, that was really valuable to me in getting somebody who does this work who oversees designers for him to look at my projects every single week, see where I'm at, and really kind of give me some good feedback was super, super critical. The other pro is you get a lot of career counseling, a lot of career resources once you finish the pro. It's not like once you graduated the boot camp, get out of here, we're done. Like, no, they set you up with a career coach and you, you know, pick your cadence on how often you meet. And that person is really your kind of counselor that's going to help guide you through the process, help shepherd you through this grueling job hunt. So, you know, you go over practice questions, you talk about salary negotiations, you, you know, they ask like, what jobs have you applied or how did this go or how would you answer this question? So they're really there to support you in every way possible. You know, they're kind of up your ass a little bit, but that's kind of what I needed. You know, somebody that's gonna be like, okay, you need to make sure you've applied to this many jobs. You need to make sure you hit all these metrics just because they want you to succeed. They obviously want it to succeed themselves as well, but it's nice to know that you guys are all working towards a common goal. So um, and another great pro, and I'm not sure if other boot camps have started doing this, but Springboard offers an IDP, which is an industry design project. So what the IDP is, is somebody that is in need of a UX designer, a UX service. They pair you with a real world company and you work with that person on whatever their UX needs are, whatever the project is. You are getting that real world UX design experience, which is so valuable. My IDP, it was me and two other designers. It's your first group project and you have your person on the other end, the person that owns the company, whatever it is, the project, and you work with this person weekly, bi-weekly, every other day, like whatever the cadence is to get this project start to finish and get them that UX need. My IDP got me my first UX job and I touched on it in my last video, but my IDP was specifically an e-commerce website. My current role needed somebody that had e-commerce experience. So I'm telling you, IDP is their crown jewel. So there's really not that many cons. One con I would say it's a ton of work. Like, it's not just a little one a weekly assignment and you're done. Like, I mean, you could treat it that way, but you'd kind of be setting yourself up. It's really important to kind of keep pace with um, the outlines that they give you. You don't really want to fall behind because 
then you're still meeting with your mentor every week and then you have nothing to show. So it's really important to kind of keep up with the work because it can be a lot, it can be overwhelming, especially if this is not your sole focus. Like I had a full-time job, nine to five, and then doing this from like five to nine. Like it is a, you know, rigorous program, but you know, you have to be prepared for a little bit of work to get that desired outcome, just like in UX. So the other thing I would say is that some of the projects and the prompts can feel a little bit cookie cutter. I've started to notice, like as I was applying for jobs, a lot of new designers' portfolios all kind of look the same, just because they teach you the framework, but there's not really a good instruction on, okay, this is the framework, but as long as you have this information, you can lay it out however you want to. So I think there's a lot of emphasis on like A and then B and then B and then C and then C, you know what I mean? So I wish there was more emphasis on like, this is the design process, but it doesn't have to look like this. So that is something that I've learned as I've tweaked and tweaked my portfolio after the bootcamp was over. So there's some things I didn't touch on in terms of like price. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. Um, but they do offer a job guarantee. So if after six months you haven't gotten a job, you don't have to pay anything back. And I really like this model because it really puts a lot of skin in the game for the boot camp as well. Is that they want, you know, they want them, they want their money. They want to, you know, make good on their investment. So they have to make sure that they supply you with every resource possible to get that job, which benefits you because at the end of at the end of the day, you want that job. Overall, I would say it is a rigorous program, but would I recommend it? 100% yes, I'd recommend it. That is my review of Springboard. Let me know if you guys have any more specific questions. There's a lot of different nuances that I didn't touch on, but maybe that'll be for a Q&A later. I really liked my Springboard experience, but you know, keep doing some research, look at other videos, look at some pros and cons, and really kind of do that due diligence. Just because there are so many boot camps out here, you want to make sure you're getting the right fit. That is all I have for you guys today. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I'll be happy to answer them down below in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.